If you haven't seen it, you should. Some big changes coming to affixes. People asked my opinions on them. Best way to do that, let's make a video. So let's talk about this. Uh, there's uh, a couple things to understand beforehand. Uh, we also had this conversation on stream and there seemed to be some um, confusion. So let's go through the history of the affixes, this expansion. Uh, when the expansion uh, started, uh, coming out of BFA, there was a lot of really difficult affixes and some really potent affix combinations. Uh, and then there was some that were insanely easy. So they added a bunch of new ones. Uh, if you haven't heard about this, they added actually a ton of new ones, like storming, inspiring, obviously prideful as well. Um, so the ones they added kind of complicated things, uh, spiteful especially, um, and then they started nerfing them, right? So what they were doing was they were nerfing them because of the combinations that had occurred, and it was creating these uh, situations where then it fixes that weren't in combination with them were also becoming like the balance of how they played out was different right so obviously you have something like volcanic which is insanely easy and then they added something like storming which was pretty difficult comparatively and uh, it was kind of meant to be like the yin to the yang of volcanic but it just wasn't tuned the same way at the time when it came out storming was like insanely difficult like you'd get i got hit for like 60 percent of my health at one time with storming uh, the mob or the, the actual tornado thing did way too much damage. So they nerfed that uh, in season one and then they nerfed it like substantially in season two where now you have the ability to just eat the storming and it goes away forever. Kind of like how volcanic happens only once and then it's gone. Storming now uh, has been nerfed in multiple ways. It's more predictable the way it spawns. It always, uh, if you get hit, it goes away. And I think it does like way less damage too or something like that. I can't actually remember all these things. But that's an important historical perspective because now we're in a position where there's some clear outliers for a fixed difficulty. And you have these uh, changes that happen in season two. We have some seasonal, uh, like some weekly things coming with the, the patch here or, you know, with, like with the season itself that are n uh, completely new. We haven't ever seen them before or we haven't seen them in very long time. And one of them was fortified raging. If you've never seen... Uh, fortified raging if you didn't see it the first time it was around it without question the hardest week it's not even close unbelievably difficult week uh, and and the the problem is like there's so many mobs and people are pulling in such high volume that like when you know seven mobs all go into enrage at the same time you just people are just gonna die and it's not even the tank it's it's the group it's like un unsustainable you can't have everybody do that on fortified all the pack do that on fortified so it was very, very difficult. And now we have new problems is what I'm saying. So here, here's the new problem. So now bolstering. So, so that when we talked about this a lot on stream, I was constantly talking about how the current week that's bolstering explosive fortified or tyrannical is one of the hardest weeks that you could have because it slows the key down substantially. There's not much you can do about it. Like, you know, you can't really counter bolstering right now. There's no real way to do it because on a tyrannical week, you know, so this is another thing we talked about. People said, is it harder to have bolstering on fortified or bolstering or tyrannical bolstering and i don't think you should look at it that way instead i should think you should be comparing it to other tyrannical weeks and other fortified weeks so yeah i think a fortified bolstering week is not that much harder than a bolstering or a, a, a fortified any other week right but if you're talking about a tyrannical week a tyrannical bolstering week is way harder than a tyrannical other week you know what I mean? Because when you're playing a tyrannical key, you're always thinking about combining a lot of trash together because it should be much easier to kill and deal with. But when you can't do that, it's like a hard counter to the strategies that have come completely changes the week. And it's like this, this is actually harder than last week for me now, because uh, even though necrotic and sanguine was a really interesting combination, that was actually a good combination. This one's just a bad combination. It just makes keys like, uh, you know, too difficult. Like there's not there's no counterplay to it. So the big issue with these three affixes was that you needed counterplay. Now at one point, Raging was given counterplay. I think that was probably in BFA. I can't actually remember when they did it. But yeah, you can dispel Raging now. Druids uh, soothe. So dispel uh, comes from um, Druids, Hunters, or Rogues. They can soothe it. That does uh, you know a great deal of help, but I guess Blizzard still thinks it's... I, I don't think Raging should be changed is what I'm trying to say. But bolstering and necrotic have effectively very limited counterplay. So these two affixes are just outliers now. And this is a, you know, at one point, 
necrotic and bolstering were not looked at as a bad fix. Like if you go back five years, nobody cared about these fixes. It wasn't really a big issue. I remember people talking about it in Legion, actually Faxi and, and I think it was Tagor as well. You guys were talking about it. I remember doing Arcway and Faxi's like, ah, bolstering is like low key, one of the hardest of fixes. And, and, and Tagor and others were like, get out of here. You're crazy. That's one of the easier fixes. You know what I mean? And, and his point, Faxi's point back then was like, it just adds so much extra time to the key. But back then, like, in Legion, boss difficulty was everything. So bolstering doesn't impact bosses. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's very interesting how this has happened because the reason that these affixes now look so hard is, one, because the way the content works, but, two, because all the other affixes regressed to a point where they're now just standing out on an island by themselves. And you're like, that's the only actually hard affix now. So I don't envy Blizzard in this position because now they've nerfed basically every single affix dozens of times like you know it, there's been dozens of nerfs to affixes over the last probably like five years now at this point so i mean they removed so many affixes as well teaming teaming's been removed uh yeah, a lot of uh, other affixes were removed in legion as well so it's almost like this whole system is just not really working out how they expected it to but i think the goals of the system should always be to make keys play differently week to week i think that should be the only expressed goal make the difficulty of the dungeon shift in some meaningful way and unfortunately i think they're going to ruin that if they continue to nerf it like this and these types of nerfs are the bad ones these are the ones that are going to ruin the concept of the effects just like we have with explosive if you don't know explosive has like triple digit health in battle for azeroth and all the time before it took like multiple globals to kill there was multiple times where you would actually like I would have to use two globals to kill an explosive warp as a blood DK. And that wasn't great, but it made the effects really matter. And you had to actually care about it. You had everybody had to care about it. But now it's got so little health that even a healer's auto attack will probably one shot it. It's like, why is it even still in the game? Okay. So if you do that to every effects, then you don't have interesting weeks anymore. And we just made a video on this last week about how interesting Sanguine Necrotic is. To my knowledge, never appeared before together. Very, very interesting week. So anyway, here's the changes themselves. Bolstering now has a 20 second duration, was permanent. I'm going to talk about that last. Necrotic Wounds duration, though, now lasts 6 seconds, was 9 seconds. So let's talk about this one. Obviously, like I said, we just made that video last week. How does that impact last week? Well, it doesn't change the complications that we had last week. You're still going to have to deal with Necrotic and Sanguine at the same time. And I think that's good for the game. Like, I think that means those two affixes go very well together. It just sucks that they're both on the tank's life, you know, or very little. <laughs> very few DPS are actually going to help, but people do accurately point out that DPS should also be helping. But it's not going to make the affix a joke anymore. It's, it's not going to, like, delete the affix. But it is now probably going to just drop by itself. Six second duration, and, and this is actually what I did not want to see. Uh, instead, what I wanted to see from Necrotic Wound application was the stack rate instead. They should have made it so you can only gain so many stacks per second. Just like how Bone Shield charges can only be consumed once every, how I think it's like once a second or something like that. That should be how Necrotic Wounds works. You only can get one per second or something like this. So it does make it like, so it makes like bosses, single targets, and five targets the same difficulty because that's all we should want because the problem with necrotic wounds is just how tanking works like it doesn't have like it's just nothing there's just nothing you can do about it you have to get meleeed like if think about this this is the way i look at it can you do a run where a single explosive goes off zero times yes very easily can you do a run where bolstering happens zero times yes you can can you do a run where zero stacks of necrotic wounds occur? I don't think you can. I mean, like, you'd have to have, like, four frost mages or something. Like, I, I honestly don't think that's possible to actually do a key like that. So that's the issue with necrotic. It's, like, just unfair. It's just a dumb affix. It's just a bad design. So make it a better design. Make it something that does actually impact tanking, but not so, like profusely impacting tanking multiple targets because that's your job you can't not do that and then there's so many times where you're having a pack like the goliath packs and spires where there's a single mob that is not slowable and a small a ton of small mobs it's like what the hell am i supposed to do about this i can't I, i'm gonna get tons of stacks and then i can't kite it's just really really bad um, so what they've done now is they've made it 
last six seconds. I didn't even know it lasted nine. I thought it only lasted eight. So realistically, that's because the ninth second never actually appears on the buff. So it's kind of like a psychological thing. But for me, that means this is probably only going to look like it lasts five seconds. And that makes it very easy to drop because, of course, Dancing Rune Weapon lasts longer than this. So the likelihood that I will ever have problems with Necrotic again on any small amount of targets is very low. And will this make it easier to deal with the problems we had in during Necrotic Weeks? Not at all. No, not at all. Because the problem isn't how long the duration lasts. It's how quickly you can get stacks. Like, literally, you can get stacks. There's times where I go into pack, and by the time my CDs, like, I, I like four or five globals in, I have 25 stacks. So... <laughs> What, you know what I mean? Like, so what? I can't, I can't even tank for like a quarter of the pack's lifespan. I got, it's just silly. It's a bad, di a bad idea, a bad design altogether. The affix itself, and this change is not going to really impact that. It's just going to make it way easier to not to accidentally deal with it right. And and I don't think that's a good encouragement. Like, you don't really want tanks dropping stacks by accident when you're tanking. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I don't think that was ever a good idea. Like, if I accidentally drop stacks. So, so another thing that you should be aware of, we talked about this on stream today. Uh, in season two, like on the PTR, when they were testing it, they were changing, um, I think it was like Wowhead data mine that they were going to change how Necrotic applied. And they were going to make it only 50% of melees. Now that's already how it works on bosses. They were going to change that seemingly to everywhere. But it was just data mined incorrectly instead, uh, or maybe Blizzard changed, I don't, who knows. But regardless, that's not what they wanted to do. Instead, what they wanted to do was make mobs that are not kiteable do that instead, just like bosses. So trash that's not kiteable, do that as well. So that's what they did. That's actually in the game. So maybe they should have did it for all mobs. I'd still think the more elegant solution is what I described, but maybe it's too difficult to actually make happen. I don't know. Um, but yes, yeah, certainly uh, it's not really solved the problem whatsoever. But yes, there's times when I'm fighting trash or a boss and I do drop stacks by accident. And that is because of that plus natural parries. If you parry or dodge a hit, you do not get a stack. So if you get lucky, you can easily drop stacks by accident. That is now going to be extremely easier, much easier. I mean, 33% easier, right? Because now you only have to dodge like four or five melees or, you know, get lucky on four or five consecutive hits instead of six or seven or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll see how it plays. But like I said, I don't think it's going to make Necrotic any easier because all the problems I have with Necrotic don't exist uh, because of the duration of the stack. Like, it, it doesn't matter at all. Another option, people said that you can make it so each, each individual stack drops. And we're going to talk about um, that same concept for the bolstering situation. But anyway, Raging Damage has been nerfed yet again. I think at one point it was 100%. Now it's all the way down to 50, or maybe they buffed it back to 75, but I feel like it's now been nerfed multiple times. Considering it's dispellable, again, the only issue with Raging is because it's on that Fortified Week. So, you know, Raging on Tyrannical Weeks, it's like, that's fine. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? But it's, I don't think changing the damage bone, again, it's just not really doing anything. You're just kind of making everything, like, less niched and less diverse, but... It'll certainly make it easier, that's for sure. That, that's certainly going to make that week a lot easier, but still not really going to be, you know what I mean? Mobs doing 50% more damage is still going to be very painful on Fortified. That week shouldn't exist. Like That's what I'm trying to say. Fortified Raging should not exist. There's far too many mobs to actually be able to deal with it properly. You can't expect groups to not have multiple mobs within the Raging window at the same time when there's mobs that are constantly attacking and not the tank. That's just too much. Anyway. The final one is bolstering. So this is the one that I'm going to tell you a quick little story because this is actually quite funny. So we were talking about this in Discord uh, Tuesday night. Okay. Uh, me, Jackson Sign, all people you might know from the channel. We had a conversation about how hard bolstering was and how, um, you know, like it's very, very difficult to play around, but perfectly it can be played around, but it's going to be very, very, very slow one way or the other. Okay. How much impact it's having on the key was the, the conversation. So Sign goes, they should just make it have a duration, okay? And at first, that sounds like a great idea. Like, it's like, yeah, okay, I guess you're right. They probably should. But it already has a duration. If you drop combat, it goes away. That's kind of a big deal. That was something that didn't used to happen in Legion. If you watch me solo Dungeons in Legion, I tried it on a bolstering week, and it was impossible. And then they changed it, and then I was able to do bolstering weeks, because then it was one of the easiest affixes, because I can just die, and the mobs would reset, and the affix would do nothing, right? So these are things to keep in mind. But anyway, so Jix, in my opinion, 
so freaking accurately points out that that's just going to turn it into a kiting affix. That's just going to be grab a ton of trash, bolster the hell out of it, and then mass root it and leave until it's attackable again. That's exactly what's going to happen here. So I don't, the main question I have, well, besides the fact that why the fuck did you do this? Uh, the main question I have is how do the individual stacks work? Do they refresh the duration? I assume yes. That seems like what would be the default. Anything that gives a stack usually refreshes the duration, but there's some things like, you know, like Ironford doesn't do that. So my question is, if it doesn't do that, well, I guess it depends on, let, let's not even get into that, but like it depends on how it works first of all. So we have to see it, but yes, immediately the biggest problem with bolstering that I have is where there's one mob that has like a million health and everything else around it has like 10k health. And this happened in Siege of Brawls. Literally, the dungeon was like undoable on bolstering weeks. It was so freaking stupid. So just don't design packs like that. We were just talking about this today on stream and, and about Halls of Atonement. Halls of Atonement looks like it's the same way, but everything's actually optional in there. You can pull nothing. You, you can pull zero trash and go do a boss if you wanted to. A almost zero trash, right? So the only big problem is the hall, the, the, the shards of Halkius, the church elementals, as everybody on the planet calls them. It's not just me, I promise. Church elementals have way more health than the mobs that are surrounding them. And a lot of times you're pulling a lot of trash onto them because of how you know dangerous they the danger they present for trash weeks, you have to deal with them effectively. You can't do that on bolstering, but it's not really an issue. Instead, you just pull all the other trash that's around it separately and then go kill the shard single. And, and people are like, that's a really, that's a very slow way to handle it. But it's not really, because if you look at the effective health of, of the packs you're creating, it's equal to what it would have been last week. And now you're just kind of wasting AOE damage instead of, you know, when you're fighting a single mob or two mobs total in a key, you're just kind of wasting damage potential. And that doesn't really matter that much. Like it's not really that big of a deal, uh, but it's certainly slower, of course. Uh, but but every affix makes the dungeon slower. So you just need to make the the affix not wipe you, not punish you so severely that you you can't complete the key. But I actually am going to publish probably a publish a 22 halls, uh, and I think you should watch that. If you feel like that, you know, if you want to see what it looks like, that's what that's where you want to go, because it's it's actually really easy to handle it. So that's my point. Like the fix itself isn't really that bad. It's very manageable. If you just killed mobs evenly, like people never do, it wouldn't be a problem at all. The problem's when you can't kill mobs evenly. So now that you, you know, if they continue to make dungeons like this, and if this stays this way and they continue this design, like if they bring Siege of Brawls back, this, this affix is not an affix anymore. It just doesn't do anything. Because now the easy trash gets deleted, and then the one or two big guys in the pole are just standing there. And as long as nobody dies to them, you just run away. Literally just leave them there. And you could do the same thing on bosses now. That's one of the biggest things about bolstering. If you ever accidentally pull something to a boss, you're done. The boss is going to get bolstered and that's it. But now it's like, uh, just wait 20 seconds. Just keep damaging. Because like the, it, it gives the mob health. Like it's the health goes up. So what happens when it loses the health? I don't really get it. So if you bolster something five times and it has only that health gained. Like if it, like just say if five stacks of bolster gave a mob 50k health. Okay, and the mob's at 50k health, and then it loses bolster. Does it die, or does it just go back to whatever percentage it was at, like the same percentage? So then it would be at like you know 5% health. Now it's at 5% health, but it just has less health. I I don't understand how you do this, and it actually makes the makes the fix work. This seems completely counterproductive to the fix, and honestly, I would be surprised if it goes in. This seems like a terrible decision. People are literally just going to, yeah, they're just going to pull the whole dungeon and kite it until the, the, the stacks drop. So I, maybe, maybe you need to make it a minute duration. I don't really know, but I'm not, I don't think you can do this. I just honestly don't think this works. Um, but like I said, it's going to depend on how the stacking itself works. Uh, but yeah, that, that's my thoughts on that. So like I said, you know, them making some affixes and I'm not going to lie to you. Like it's more fun. Yeah, I think like most people will probably feel this way. Like it's more fun when the affixes aren't very hard. Like it sucks that that's the case, but like I kind of agree. Like I, I kind of want the dungeon to be hard and then the affixes kind of just be like tinkering on to the difficulty. Like there's some poles in some dungeons that the affixes are the only hard part and, and that does kind of suck. Like it's not really fun, but that's the goal of the system. Like the affixes are meant to change the dungeons. 
It's just they're unable to balance it. So unfortunately, they're probably going to have to just, you know, give up and just nerf everything until... But the problem here is now we're now we're going to develop a new thing. So you make the three hardest to fixes, middle of the pack of fixes. Now there's a new hardest to fix. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what. If these nerfs are as substantial as they maybe look like they're going to be, which they're, they're really not. But if they were, what do you think would be the next hardest to fix? I'm interested in hearing that. So let me know what you think. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.